The thing about extreme heat is everybody experiences it at one time or another, no matter where you live. That's a real tangible manifestation of how climate change can affect your day-to-day -day life. We continue burning more coal, oil, and natural gas, and therefore we're getting more heat-trapping gases in the atmosphere. Humans are uh, contributing, a big contrib major contributor to uh, what's been happening in terms of the warming of the planet. We're twice as likely to set a record high maximum than a record low minimum. And that's kind of what climate change is. It's kind of shifting the odds towards certain outcomes. The warming has occurred in different areas and different sizes. So the Arctic and the higher latitudes in the Northern Hemisphere, we've seen the biggest warming. So then we looked in the future in a warming climate with increasing greenhouse gases, and we saw these changes in the patterns of future heat waves. So there was a catastrophic heat wave in the Pacific Northwest in June 2021, which climate scientists said would have been impossible without climate change. Portland, Oregon reached upward of 116 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's been estimated that there were over 600 excess heat-related deaths in Washington and Oregon alone in one week. Extreme heat can cause damage to the brain, worsen mental health impacts. Uh, it can affect heart and lung disease, kidney disease. In many areas that are, that are low wealth, those communities may not have uh, trees. Uh, those communities may have older buildings, so they may not have air conditioning. And those communities may have a lot of concrete, a lot of asphalt. One tree can bring the temperature down 20 to 25 degrees. So you can see a 20 to 25 degree difference between one tree in front of one house compared to the next house that didn't have a tree. Heat waves have become more intense, more frequent, and longer lasting. Those kinds of changes are ones that we uh, kind of expected to happen and they have happened and they're going to continue to get worse as we go forward.